Dear friends, may the Lord give you peace. In the Gospel passage of the second Sunday of Advent, we read a description of the character of John the Baptist and what he did in the Judean desert. First of all, it is important to know that John must most likely belong to a religious movement within the Jewish religion called the Essence. What characterized them was a hermit way of life, an everyday life that was distinctly separated from the world. For our reflection, we'll be based on the theme of the desert. Observing it and its scarcity of everything, we cannot help but to conclude that we are talking about a space that must demand the best from man if he wants to come out of it alive and alive and sane. So it requires a certain repentance from bad and unnecessary things to what is optimal in each particular moment, since each of those moments is, is precious in terms of survival and coming out in the best possible condition. Therefore, once one leaves the desert, it is impossible to remain unchanged. In a way, once a person comes out of it, he cannot help himself but continue the course of his life in a complete new direction. In the desert, it is necessary to remove any excess burden that can be some sort of trouble for the individual. In the desert, one can learn to appreciate small, seemingly harmless and incidental things as those that at certain moments mean life to him. The desert is also a place of confronting one's own limits and possibilities. If, you, if we want to be extremely realistic, the desert forces us to face the truth. But in our case, the desert is a place of facing the truth written with a capital initial letter, with a capital T. If we look at the photos of Medjugorje from 50 or more years ago, we'll conclude that it was a place that was, in a way, deserted. An ordinary and simple Herzegovinian place which did not stand out in any way. Despite this, God made that desert, or rather that rock, because the Gospel mentions rock, since Herzegovina is a very rocky area. God made that rock his abode in a very visible way. The miracle of Abraham's child raised from an inanimate creature has been present here for several decades and persistently calls for repentance and points to the nearness of the kingdom of heaven, which, as Jesus says, it's among you. The specificity of this place is its experience of the desert and the subsequent testimony of the authenticity of God's omnipotence. This is precisely why we witness the rivers of people who come here to learn the truth. Once again, I repeat the truth with a capital T and to express their repentance in a visible way by only participating in the sacraments and the prayers of the church that are being offered here. In a way, they want to start from scratch here as if they want to enter the desert of their own identity so they, once they come out of it, they can realize for themselves that the kingdom of heaven is among them. And the most fascinating thing is that all of this is also possible for you. So go, enter the desert. I'm sure that you will find your so away the truth. God bless you.